Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I have a hot sauce review for Allegheny City Farms located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. These were sent to me from the owner, Tom Mota, and I'm going to uh, review his uh, original uh, fermented uh, Pittsburgh style hot sauce from Allegheny City Farms. Check out that awesome label. All right, and I believe this is the first uh, hot sauce that Tom did. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Let me read a little bit about uh, his company. It says, Allegheny City Farms prides itself on our unique flavor-to-fork approach to food, taking it a step further than farm-to-table. Not only are the artisans at Allegheny City Farms intimately involved in all stages of the process of growing and harvesting our produce, but our team is also involved in the creation, testing, and production of our artisanal foods. The approach provides us, allows us to provide only the freshest locally grown products to our customers. That's awesome. Now, I'm also going to be reviewing a pepper jam uh, that he sent me as well. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into this hot sauce review. Now, I really love a, uh, a fermented style a hot sauce. Tom, this sauce. Uh, Tom said this sauce reminds him of what he had when he was growing up. Uh, he wanted to make a Louisiana-style hot sauce, something similar to Tabasco, but not use cayenne peppers, but to use uh, super hot peppers. And that's exactly what he's done with his uh, Pittsburgh-style hot sauce. Not Louisiana-style, but Pittsburgh style. Let me read uh, this is uh, on the side here on the bottles. What I'm going to read, but I'm going to read it from the website just a little bit easier. It says, like, like Pittsburghers, Pittsburgh-style hot sauce delivers a bold, in-your-face taste that just won't quit. Quit. Try it on your favorite sandwich, spice, spice up Aunt, Aunt Mary's pierogies. Yep, that's how you say it. Don't know what that is? Google it. It's P-I-E-R-O-G-I-E-S. Pierogies. Or give that fried fish dinner a little more bite with Pittsburgh-style hot sauce. The distinctive taste and heat level is achieved by blending a selection of the world's hottest fermented peppers. Don't see too many fermented uh, hot sauces out there uh, that are offered to the public. Uh, not only are we talking ghost in at, but we're talking scorpions, seven pop primos, nagas, and the world record holding Carolina Reapers. Pittsburgh style is made with the finest turbinado sugar and purest rice vinegar, but it ain't too fancy to guss up Uncle Frank's chili. Uh, put uh, put the chair in your parking spot and hurry out to get another bottle because yous are almost out. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got through that. Okay, now let's go ahead and read the ingredients on this one. Uh, sodium is only 20, mil 20 milligrams. And that's just awesome to see a, a thinner, uh, you know, um, vinegar-based pepper sauce like this to, be, to have low sodium. And here are the ingredients on this. We start off with fermented super hot pepper mash, ghost scorpions, seven pot primos, Carolina reapers, rice vinegar, turbinado cane sugar, fresh garlic, Meyer lemon juice, pink Himalayan sea salt, and other spices. Now, I think, uh, you ever heard of Meyer lemons? Um, they're a seasonal type, type lemon. They're different than your regular lemons. They're a little bit more small, more round. They're less acidic and less tangy and, than a regular lemon and a little bit more sweet. And I think it's really interesting, a, a fantastic choice that Tom is, is uh, using the Meyer lemon in this instead of just regular lemon juice. I believe they're seasonal. You can get them from around December to May. Um, but they say they were... Uh, uh, introduced to the United States from China in the early 20th century by Frank Meyer. All right, just give you a little background on that. Okay, well, here's what this looks like, guys. As you can see, it is thin, and that's okay because this is a not a Louisiana style, but a Pittsburgh style fermented pepper sauce. Okay, it's not going to be thick. Um, whoops. Not going to be thick. It's going to be vinegary thin like this. Now, this is the other hot, hot sauce that Tom has. This is his Harvest Edition. So, this one, as you can see, is much thicker. This is not fermented. Uh, he wanted to make this with fresh uh, peppers, the same basic ingredients that are in the uh, original fermented one, but his Harvest Edition, he wanted to use fresh super hots. Same peppers, same uh, recipe, but uh, as you can see, this one is definitely 
a lot thicker and uh, once again fresh not fermented peppers all right now this one didn't come with a flow restrictor and uh, believe it or not this uh, rarely happens where I have to add a uh, flow restrictor to a hot sauce but this one you definitely want to or just you can make a mess if you don't but I took it off for this review now what you get with this one guys you get that funky fermented pepper aroma I just love that uh, it's recognizable you get a little bit of tartness from the vinegar. This one, there's a little bit of sweetness coming up from this one. It's got to be a combination of, of the turbinado sugar and the Meyer lemon. It doesn't smell vinegary, but you smell those fermented peppers a little bit. Really nice aroma. It's slightly, um, a little bit garlicky there in the background. All right. Let's show you what it looks like. i got to be careful pouring it on here. See how you can make a mess if you're not careful. Definitely need a flow restrictor. All right, here we go. Hmm. Now, boom. The heat starts hitting you. Now, this one, the first thing I get, you get sweetness. You get a little bit of sweetness. Actually, not a little bit. You get quite a bit of sweetness to this from the turbinado sugar and the Meyer lemon. But then, bam, those peppers hit you right away. Uh, and it just gives you a really sweet fermented pepper aroma and flavor that is really, really good. Um, this one, really the, the uh, sweetness stands out. The fermented peppers stand out. Um, you get a, some tartness there from the vinegar. Not too much, and uh, but I think that Meyer lemon juice is really adding some nice sweetness to it. Let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I just love putting a pepper sauce on eggs, so that's exactly what I did. had some fried eggs. Also was using his pepper jam on that breakfast, as you could probably see. But uh, just love a pepper sauce like this on eggs. It's just fantastic. Um, you can start to feel it down a little bit. Now, it is not nearly as hot, um, not quite as hot as the Harvest Edition, uh, but it's almost there. A flavor on this stuff, I think it's really, really good. If you like a pepper sauce, if you want something different, you want something a little bit sweet, I highly recommend this one. My only um, uh, thing that I can say that I think, t t in my opinion, that would make me like it a little bit better is if it was less sweet. Um, I like a, a vinegar-based pepper sauce to really focus on the flavor of the peppers. Um, this one just almost is just getting a little bit too sweet, in my opinion. But hey, it's flavorful, it's tasty, but I want a pepper sauce to not really be... Um, you know, in your face sweet. This is not quite there, but it's almost at a level where I think it's just a little bit too sweet. That's just my opinion, but fantastic fermented flavor. Pepper sauce flavor is really, really good. Um, heat on this one, I think I will give this one a um, uh, six or seven. I think I'll go with a, um, I was thinking a strong six, but the more you eat of this, it really lights you up. I think I'll go with just a seven on this one, just a, a low seven out of 10 for heat. It is pretty hot. All right, check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you know Tom Moda on Facebook, and I will put the link to his website, AlleghenyCityFarms.com, in the description, so make sure you check it out. Tom, thank you so much for sending it. I appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more, and until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.